Hey, Lance. Hello, Ed. How are hey, you? Hey, Bjorn. I'm, I'm pretty good. Right. Good. Oh, we have a link. Hey, out in space today. Hello, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping we reach orbit today. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> Thomas, I don't know if we've met. I'm Ed, and hello, Victor. I work with Bjorn. Hi. Hi. Good to meet you. Good morning. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Victor. Hi, hi. Is that Sigpa, Victor? Or different oh, sorry, Victor? What is it? Oh, Sigpa? No, no, not, not, not Victor from Sigpa? No. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I have logged in. So, yeah, I'm. I'm just. Uh, uh, I don't attend regularly. Uh, just actually some, I guess, some questions uh, <clears throat> about the com. And I joined once before. Um, uh, just about uh, just how how does like the com works and uh, how is it related to like like Open ID? Um, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Welcome. Glad to have you. Um, today we'll be doing a lot of um, kind of back and forth to we're, we're planning to do a um, Didcom V2 Connectathon at um, IAW, which is a conference identity conference coming up. And um, yeah, I guess we can do we'll, we'll do like a quick uh, intro and you know point you to some resources that I think will help. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Alex. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Yep. You sound good. <laughs> My camera is supposed to be on, but I guess not. We'll get started in about 30 seconds. Victor, I'm going to post a few links uh, in the chat that I think could be helpful. I don't know how much. Uh, oops, well, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I don't know how 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 far you've gotten uh, with Didcom. Um, uh, yes, I, I I read something about it <laughs> briefly. So, uh, mainly how the the Didcom basically distributed uh, identity. Uh, Work with uh, the the um, uh, the uh, the uh, Open ID Connect. How how's it related, basically? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna post uh, a really good article that does a comparison between them. I don't think that we'll probably do it justice here, but. Um, uh, if anyone would like to uh, give some comments real quick while I look for this link, uh, go for it. Um, they they certainly uh, are related, um, but there are some key differences as well. So um, just let me find that article. I mean, my two cents on the comparison is that um, DIPCOM and OpenID uh, are related in the sense that they can both be used to exchange credentials uh, and uh, yeah, exchange verifiable presentations. So OIDC has OIDC for VP and uh, OIDC for, uh, uh, I don't know what's the other acronym. And then uh, Didcom has the issue, uh, the issue credential protocol and the present proof protocol. So those are the way 
you would compare those two uh, in my mind. Uh, yeah, the issue OpenID for VC and OpenID for VP versus issue credential versus present proof. Yeah, I think that, that's, that's the part that's confused me because I see sometimes that, uh, like for the projects called SIOP, I think, I believe it's the, because uh, there's some, yeah, yeah, so some of it makes me imp the impression that is the DITCOM and, and the OpenID work together. Other literature basically says it's a two separate independent uh, solution for the same problem. So that's, that's where it's uh, confusing for me. Yeah, there's I mean, some. Um... Personally, like to me, it sounds that like if you already support OIDC and the OAuth flow, you would like to uh, integrate OIDC for VC and VP just because of the infrastructure they already have. But if you're like DIPCOM friendly or if you already have DIPCOM, then you can exchange credential using uh, DIPCOM protocols. I think you can, it's kind of like doing the same thing in two different ways. Okay. Oh, that's how I see it. Okay. Uh, I got the, the uh, I'll read the, what's posed there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, link, uh, I'll say that LinkedIn search really stinks because uh, I, I know that the terms I'm searching for uh, should result in a post that I made <laughs> to LinkedIn and it's coming back with nothing. But, uh, oh. Did I find a, at least a similar post? No. Um, yeah. It, it, it essentially is a post with a diagram from last IAW where they show, uh, yeah, essentially being issued a credential uh, v via OIDC for VC and then using that credential in, you know, some DIDCOM uh, follow on protocols, for instance. So uh, just highlighting um, how you could use both of them. Um, you know, as part of uh, your your receipt and management of, of verifiable credentials. But um, yeah, I'm not finding it easily and we probably need to get started. I'll, uh, if I if I can catch it later, I will and post it. But yeah. I think also the um, the median, uh, the the um, yeah, the Daniel Hardman medium um, post that I put in there that says centuries, confessionals, vaults, and, and envelopes, I think is also uh, does a good job of trying to use kind of some uh, real world metaphors for how these two uh, stacks or I guess, you know, technologies uh, differ in terms of, you know, what they're what they're trying to achieve. So hopefully those help. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, glad to have you, Victor. Okay, I'll post the uh, meeting link one more time here because anyone new will have missed that. Uh, and let's get started. So um, I think today we're we're very focused. Uh, oh, I need to share my screen. <laughs> okay, sharing. Yes, that looks right. Okay. So hopefully you're seeing today's uh, meeting screen. Just let me know if not. And um, uh, yeah, welcome. Today is uh, the is April third. Uh, so we have one more meeting before. Yes, we have one more meeting before we'll all be gone, or a bunch of us will be gone for I IW. That doesn't mean that this meeting can't happen uh, in two Mondays. Uh, if somebody wants to host it, that's fine. Just let me know. Um, and so because we're approaching IIW, we're, uh, we're going to focus today on the Connectathon and just how it'll go and you know, what we plan to show and see where we land for that. Uh, I just have to remind everybody about the um, Hyperledger antitrust policy, uh, as well as the Hyperledger code of conduct. And feel free to add yourself to the attendees list uh, if you like. So this is, you know, it's a wiki page, it's editable, so feel free. Uh, to add yourself, um, I'm just going to generally ask, are there any uh, important updates uh, related to the Aries uh, ecosystem or, or anything else going on in the DIDCOM or IW uh, world that, that anyone wants to share? Okay. Yeah, if something comes to mind, feel free to uh, speak up, no problem. 
because uh, we're moving a bit fast today. Uh, okay, so um, the let's open our our. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's open our our hack MD. I'll post that link as well. To so I think that the only news that I have is like I was talking to Sam about the peer three, and uh, uh, to since we're trying to deprecate the peer uh, one and two, uh, and uh, like to have like a shortened version, uh, we discussed that just having the hex of the SHA two fifty six of the did peer two. Uh, would be kind of sufficient for having the shorthand version for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, any so, thoughts on that? Yeah, like feedback would be greatly appreciated. If you guys can think of uh, any other ways of uh, shrinking the the deep peer 2 uh, after the first send. Now that's a little bit interesting in the sense that when we've talked about that as part of the Aries Interop Profile 3, um, I don't think that anybody was certain whether having the shorter um, identifiers is really important. Is there any, you know, more thoughts on that? Um, you know, we've we've said it's a goal possibly to have shorter identifiers, but um, is that something that really is uh, important? I guess we 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 weren't positive that that in real world use cases that 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 would be an important thing. Thoughts? Yeah, it's hard to I know, think, right? <laughs> well, I, think that the, uh, I think that the idea that Sam was saying that, like in actual like deployments, sending the peer two every time can get uh, quite heavy. So the idea is to only like send it for the first time, and uh, you can reuse it later, uh, unless like you, of course, you can always like switch the methods, uh, switch the IDs whenever like you send a new message. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Any other thoughts on that? Thomas. Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, Thomas, go ahead. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just wondering, is is this the uh, the did carry light thing we're talking about with a different name now? Yeah. Similar, similar <laughs> yeah. concept. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just thought I missed the whole thread of conversation, but okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we uh, talked... uh, where can I where can I read up on it? So how can I implement it? Yeah, go ahead, Alex. Well, you you said uh, a SHA two fifty six hash. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like right now, like I have like a, a very basic implementation in Python that just takes the SHA two fifty six of the long form did peer and then just get the hex from it for did peer three, um, mm -hmm. and then did peer two stays the same for generating the the document. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so are, very, yeah. Are, are you are you going to to demo this at at the meeting, or uh, is this too early? Uh, it's not. Uh, I do have it running. <laughs> uh, it's. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, well, never mind. Maybe we can we can get together offline, you know, yeah. and 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 try to interop and and see. If we can connect with each other, that that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is to be able to use. Oh, Alex, I think I lost you, or did I lose everybody? Can people hear me? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. Yeah, Alex, we can't hear you. Yeah, still can't hear you, Alex. Um, I'll, I'll just since I'll use his uh, <laughs> him getting cut off. Uh, I I think it it would be cool to play with that concept. Um, but my preference is it would be after the IIW Connectathon. <laughs> I think we have a lot of uh, a lot of work to do back and forth um, for Didcom uh, connect. Uh, you know our Didcom scenario, especially with all the work that you've done at this point, Thomas. Uh, I would I would love to to reflect all of that work uh, in our own connections with your your stuff. So, can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you now. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I wasn't sure. Okay, nice. Okay, so it works yeah. better. Uh, yeah, the, the well, last the last thing that we heard you were saying uh, that yeah that you guys maybe could get together and do a. 
yeah we can do that like afterwards uh for sure uh yeah, yeah like 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 Len said is uh, is going to be probably like after IAW since like bit period three is not uh, like a requirement for IAW by by any means. It was yeah. uh yeah it was like the idea of uh, replacing carry light because some people in the Aries community are afraid of carry. Uh, so just kind of like reward it and like refactoring like in a slightly different way. That was kind of the idea behind that. Yeah, I like it. Al Al Alexa, and, and you said that you're gonna be deprecated. Uh, Numalgo one, one. Yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's either Namalgo one and two, and three becomes two plus the abbreviated version, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so just I, I don't know, but uh, just check if Blake three is better than Shad, but I don't know the this is, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, uh, okay, fine, just to check that, yeah. Yeah, good point. Okay, so um, all right, let's make sure we go over the information f and get uh, status updates from everybody and just get a feeling for uh, how we're doing in terms of converging. Um, so the, the HackMD, which I posted in the chat, uh, is essentially our, our working document. Um, so the demonstration uh, is going to be on Wednesday, April 19th, uh, from 1.30 to 2.30. For those who aren't going to be there, the, we still hope to, um, you know, for instance, if today we did uh, an exchange, uh, I, I would, you know, it's it gets recorded and I would happily, um, you know, snip that that recording out and and kind of create like a highlight video uh of it so if there is um if anybody's not going to be present or even if you just um go through maybe even some longer set of steps and you just want to make sure that we we capture that so that we can show it um you know because the demo gods might not be kind to us uh, at iw for whatever reason um i would just love to have more and more um examples to show people of um of didcom connections and and interop um but the uh the actual uh time is uh right after lunch on on the 19th so that's the wednesday uh and we're table number 11 uh there's a demo uh table list which is just you know all the different demos that are happening you know not just ours but um our description right now reads like it's a roots id uh demo i submitted uh, an update to them that hopefully they'll process soon. Uh, they said that they were busy. Uh, so eventually this demo table list will read essentially like a, a, our entire group, uh, you, you know, Roots ID, uh, Prism, Nessus, uh, Block Trust, um, Veramo, uh, hopefully Aviary Tech, although I don't know if I heard back from Brian. I think I reached out to him. Uh, and uh, also the Pico Labs uh, students, some of them reached out, so I, I sent them some um, some information. So, anyways, yeah, uh, it'll it'll read that way as if it's a connectathon, uh, and that others could join if they wanted to. Uh, we still have our required list and our optional list. You know, the core did come v2 spec things, and then kind of additional uh, protocols that that we think will be useful. Um, any comments on any of that stuff? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, feel free to speak up at any moment uh, as I move through it. Uh, we have our list of mediators. Uh, happy to update this with, with anything additional as people get it. And then, um, yeah, the air travel use case uh, is, is what Thomas has been um, kind of walking through. And, you know, it's from W3C for, for you know, talking about some of the complexities of verifiable credentials. So I think it's really nice. Um, so essentially we wanna show as much of this scenario as possible, but if all we can do is pass a single message between you know, two agents, that's fine too. That's in fact, that's great. It's not just fine, it's great. So no pressure there. Um, and yeah, you wanna be able to support uh, did peer for sure, uh, Namal go too. And yeah, I would love to have. Uh, uh, well, we can we can list kind of uh, the the set of successful interops uh, that we have. Um, I would love to kind of document 
that in a way so that we can just capture everything that's happened running up to IW and during IW and then yeah maybe something right after as well if if there was some small missing piece or we we realized that there's some additional uh functionality that we can easily you know low hanging fruit type stuff okay so i think that's it on the details is there anything that people want to comment on that we should add to the document or anything else that could help uh this kind of happen Yeah, go ahead, Thomas. Yeah. Um, so, how are you planning to to do this recorded thing? Are we are we going to have are we going to rehearse this and and then when we're happy to record it or you know uh, yeah yeah it's how, a great how question. How are you going to do this? Yeah. So, um, it, it, let's just start at what happened last time. Last time, essentially, a uh, Roots Wallet showed a uh, chat between uh, two two Roots Wallet essentially agent uh, you know uh, you know uh, chat looking interfaces uh, on mobile and using uh, the Roots ID mediator and so for uh, for us that was a, a nice big step and uh, that's what we showed last time um, kind of off the back of that there ended up being like this ad hoc connectathon. Um, that that happened, and um, there was various forms of of failure during that connectathon. But just because it was ad hoc uh, and very early stages, uh, and and getting did come obviously to interop, you know, in terms of uh, crypt cryptography and the did methods and things like that. It does require um, a little bit of coordination, or we could just say more maturity than than where a lot of the implementations were. Um, so. Yes, this time it would be awesome if, for one thing, you know, we all supported the same DID methods so that we can do a proper resolution of each other's DIDs. Uh, and then, um, right, we need to test with each other, hopefully ahead of time, so that uh, if there is some uh, assumption that somebody made about their um, implementation of DIDCOM, uh, I think a lot of us are using the SICPA. Um, libraries and so that helps uh, for the possibility of, of interop but um, yes I would love for us to be getting together and practicing beforehand and then if we're if we have successes I would love to just record it because you could imagine like a highlights video that basically says something like uh, you know uh, you know roots wallet to Nessus Right, and it just shows like the interaction between the two, right? And and um, you know, same with uh, you know, Prism and Block Trust, or you know, whatever it is, all all of these different ones. It would just be nice to show uh, that back and forth. A lot of the community maybe doesn't understand how difficult that is, uh, or or I wouldn't say difficult. What an achievement that is. Um, what a nice step forward that is for the community. But um, I guess for us as a community, it's a good good chance for us to kind of solidify so that's so why are, i that's why i want to do the recording because i know like you hmm. won't be there for instance so um, yeah i would i would just love to be able to you know if i'm talking to somebody let's say we do a quick demonstration uh but hmm. if i'm talking to somebody and then I, I say oh you know look at this really nice uh you know interop we did with nessus and hmm. it's a really nice interface and you can see hmm. he, he's doing aliases and auto completion and you know we're we're connecting over did come hmm. too so okay so if we when we talk specifics the, there are like 16 days left right so so we have let's say we want to meet four times this would be like you know in a, in a four day interval we meet yeah and so when do we meet who is going to meet how long are these uh rehearsal sessions are going to last right yeah. so i i think at this stage we we want to be very specific about this right so so on on my side it, it'll be obviously me right so so we we meet at i i would suggest we we set aside some slots, yeah, some time slots at certain days, where we actually do some work, right? And and hopefully, uh, and hopefully at the end of these sessions, at the end of these four sessions, uh, we will have a decent video that that we can present. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, so because it's a little bit peer to peer here, uh, you know, it's been 
it's been pretty loose, but you're exactly right. The point of today is to essentially um, make sure that everyone who wants to be able to uh, interop with anyone else, that this is the time to schedule that. Um, f let me give a little uh, like insight into for Roots ID. Um, we essentially wanted to be ahead of where we are, but we're, we're I think we're doing quite well. Um, for this week, we're gonna focus specifically on Roots ID um, specific uh, things. That's not saying we can't meet with you, Thomas, or somebody else and, and do a session. We definitely could. Um, I'll leave that to, you know, Alex uh, and, and Rodolfo maybe, or uh, and, and to kind of set that up. But um, we definitely, as Roots ID, we want to make sure we've got uh, everything nailed down um, this mm -hmm. week because we've got some like UI things that we, you know, mm -hmm. also have in flux that we're working. So that gives us the next week, we hope to schedule uh, these sessions uh, with you, uh, maybe with uh, Prism, like we've done a, a session in the past with Prism, but we probably should do it more uh, like official and recorded session with mm -hmm. them. Uh, same with Block Trust. Um, we've had some of these interactions, but not recorded. I would love to get them recorded. Um, so for us, we're targeting next week to do a bunch of those interactions and recordings. Oh, okay. So hopefully everybody else feels like uh, this week and next week are, I mean, that's it. That's what we have. So mm -hmm. I, this is a good time to give updates. So that's the Roots ID update. How about for you, Thomas? What's what's your timing look like? Well, I'm available, <laughs> so so I think you know that this is uh, like like a fortnight is is a pretty tight schedule, right? To to achieve this, what we want to achieve. So uh, I'm ready when you are, in a sense, right? So so this is this is, uh, will be my focus. Um, the updates I I have uh, since last week is there is now. Um, a present proof is integrated, yeah. So, so this should help. We present proof is integrated in the in the playground, and there was a there was an update to to the Docker container concerning, uh, you know, ARM ARM architectures, like like if you run on a MacBook, for example, right? So, and and that that image was really sluggish, right? So the CLI. It, it could happen that it's not useful at all, you know, on, on a MacBook and I suspect people want to try it out. So this, this issue is gone, which is very nice. We now have a multi, multi arc uh, image and it's really snappy now on, on all these, you know, on, on the ARM 64 uh, architecture as well. And I've taken out support for Occupy for now because there was a huge, you know, because the focus is DITCOM, right? And, and there was a, a, a huge body of code that I had to maintain just to keep basic connectivity functionality going with Akapai, but that's not the focus. And nobody is interested in that actually, you know, uh, who wants a CLI that can only do basic connection with Akapai and nothing else, right? Nobody needs that. So I, I've taken this out for now. Yeah, we can always like bring it back in again when, when Akapai is ready for, for DITCOM v2, but maybe it should, it should wait for that. Um, yeah. So therefore, um, if according to your schedule, right? So so whenever you like, we can do these sessions, right? And and I I think to give it a fair chance for success, we should have at least four. I think, yeah. To I mean, if, if we can do it in two or three, it's even better, right? But but we should sort of think about doing like perhaps four hourly sessions. So this would give us four hours to actually get this this uh, raw material for a decent recording going. And if we can't make it in those four sessions, well, yeah, and then that's that's what it is, right? And and we have another shot in October maybe. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, that's that's my take on it. That sounds really Thomas, good. To, yeah, thoughts? Yeah, I have two, two questions to Thomas. One is, uh, are you using DPR Malgo 2 or which one are you using just to see how we can interoperate the, the connection, right? Yeah, I mean, this goes back to our discussions we had like several weeks ago. Yeah, so I, 
I, I at that at that time I um, I demoed uh, the use of did key with that attachment and uh, right. extension, yeah, where where I attach the did document, and the week after uh, I I sort of looked at this uh, did peer thing, and on the playground, if you look at the at the landing page from from the playground, you can switch between the two, right? So so I give you. I give you the the link to to the playground again, and if you if you click on it, you see you see a switch just under these uh, government hospital airport dits, and it says did peer and did key, right? So if you click on did key uh, on did peer, you you see the num algo two, right? And then you get different invitation messages, which which would be standard in this way, right? Right. And and also for simplification, uh, it it might actually help. Um, I have these these scripts from the client side. Yeah, you would be the client in this case. Roots ID would be the client. So I have these scripts which run the whole scenario, and so you can look at at um, uh, at the messages that work when Nessus talks to Nessus, right? So you start from a working scenario, right? So this in quote working scenario might be wrong, of course, right? And and your feedback uh, will say no, this is wrong. It needs to change, but at least it's working, right? So so we can we can use those, uh, and we can use it peer two, of course, right? Then that it's not proprietary. Yeah. Hey, Thomas, one quick question. So in our like last demo, I believe the way we uh, uh, connected the two agents is by using like scanning like a QR code like an out-of-bound invitation. Would it be yeah. possible for you to just like display that? Uh, yeah. I know that uh, in the in there as well. Like, because whenever you click on the invitation, it kind of shows the the JSON body of it. Would it yeah. be helpful to also have like another thing that we can add the QR code so we yeah. can scan it that way? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and um, the second question is: Do you support sending a forward message? So, if we, if we, if I, my DID is behind a mediator. No. Are you able to? Okay. No, no, no. This this is point as uh, peer to peer only, currently. Okay. Uh. So the other party is is Nessus in this case, right? So it's the playground, in a sense. Yeah. So so what okay. you what, so what you have is is the playground acting as the government, the hospital, and the airport, right? And 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 those institutions uh, they provide you happily with um, verifiable credentials when you send the proposed uh, verifiable credential. Yeah. From the from the issue credential protocol, you send a propose. And you get, and then you, it goes through the handshake, and and you get the uh, the verifiable credential, and then with that you can you can use the present proof thing, right? And and send you prepare on Roots Wallet, you you prepare the verifiable presentation, and you send this to to the playground as well, and then the playground, these institutions in this case it would be the airport, and the airport uh, verifies that presentation that you prepared on the on the roots wallet okay the, the thing with roots wallet is that is since it's in a mobile device they don't have a endpoint so we cannot do peer-to-peer -peer. you cannot send a message to an end yeah to the to the mobile right so and that's why and is this, we are behind this, a yeah and and is this is this something i need to worry about or is is this not transparent to to the endpoint URL that that Malati is uh, communicating. Well, there's a key wrapping step. Well, that, that's that's that was my question because uh, if you implement it, if if you read it, did it here, and in your service endpoint you don't find a URL, but instead you find a DID that is my mediator with a that has a URL, the mediator has a URL, you need mm. to wrap the message in a forward message following mm. the spec and pass it to the mediator. So I, that is mm. going to be able the wallet to, to recover that. But you need to have implemented the, the forward part of the specification. 
Well, we don't, we haven't even implemented uh, a did resolution, right? So, so there is no no resolver involved. So, so this this relies on uh, this one relies on both parties communicating their respective endpoint URLs to each other. Uh, how so, you get the endpoint URL? Uh, well, it's encoded in 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 did peer two. It's encoded. There. Okay, well, that, that's a resolution, right? Okay, so if that works, then, <laughs> then yeah. yeah. So if that works, it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah but, but what, what I'm saying is that if, if you don't find the URL and instead you find a DID, that's gonna, for, for the protocol, it's gonna let you know that this should be a forward message. And, and then you need to be able to make that wrap and pass it to, to that URL, but. Okay, I think uh, we we'll need see. to, yeah, I, I think we need to, we need to look at the, into this. Okay, it's not yeah. hard, but <laughs> it's something. Yeah. yeah, so this is, Thomas, this isn't uncommon, it, you know, essentially for um, a person like you who has been doing so much development, you know, uh, between their own agents and things like that to then, uh, you know, realize that with mobile agents, uh, they are less functional, we'll put it that way, right? And so this mediation step um, is well-defined, but uh, right, it is an extra, well, an extra it, thing. It was, it was my impression uh, that this mediation step is between the mobile wallet and its respective mediator. And, That's correct, yeah. And, and the other peer does not need to worry about this, right? So. Yeah. So if, if this assumption is not correct, then I need to do something. But if it's correct, then it should work. Well, the, that's the, we need to understand what is the, that the other party don't need to worry about. It doesn't mean that you know that it's a, a mediator behind that, but you need to cover the routine part of the specification. And that's uh -huh. the thing that you need to worry about because you're gonna, okay. you're gonna receive a, a, a service same point that is not the URL. So you, you your or either your program crash or understand what to do with that right and, yeah and okay let's go, try yeah. it out yeah it's, it's, but, it. but it's easy it's, it's simple yeah it's, okay you need to check look at the, the routing okay. part in the, okay so the so when when are we trying to do this <laughs> hmm. i mean that's so the, certainly <laughs> the sooner <laughs> yeah it's the sooner the better for all of this exactly. stuff because yeah, exactly. um it's only going to take this is this was the lesson of the last uh, connectathon yeah. or interopathon that it only yeah. takes one issue yeah. to make it so that nothing else can happen. So exactly, um, yeah. So I, I I leave it to essentially you and Alex and Rodolfo to decide what is the earliest possible time that you guys can try this, see how it breaks, and then go back and start fixing stuff. Okay, so let's let's coordinate this on, on Discord maybe, yeah? Yes, yeah, if, if everybody, and that's good for everybody, that um, yeah. please post as much as possible to the, uh, you know, Aries Didcom uh, Discord, just so that people can see activity happening, mm -hmm. and we can, I can, you know, add updates mm -hmm. and, Right. If we run into something that mm. was unforeseen, we can kind of disseminate that information mm. as okay. well. Yeah. So maybe we can jump in here because right. um, we <clears throat> so um, we have this um, browser extension wallet and are facing the same problem as with the mobile wallets. So we you can't talk to us directly, um, but we have also a mediator in between. So it's more or less the same architecture as with uh, the Roots team. And um, we could try this uh, this week if you want, um, because it's more or less the same. Um, um, <clears throat> and maybe can you explain what happens when we send a basic message to you? Well, it starts, it starts with an invitation, right? Okay. So it starts with an invitation and, and your entry point is the playground, which, you know, that, that URL Nessus tag playground thing. And you click on the link and, and there you get the out of band invitation, right? And it's, it's your responsibility then to use that invitation to send a trust ping, right? So 
the, uh, the, the playground then receives the trust ping and responds with a trust ping response. And then the connection exists, right? Okay. And, and based on that connection, on that connection, uh, you can send basic messages. So it supports the uh, it supports the basic message protocol that that Akapai specifies. That's the RFC uh, forty three or something. Yeah. So it, it tells okay. you what what's the the basic message protocol that it supports. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety five. Yeah. So and the playground is is a cloud agent which is currently online. So I could send yeah. a basic message there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so you, the first thing you do is is you select the DIT methods. It will be DIT key or uh, DIT key or DIT peer, yeah. and and you get the invitation link. And there you get a DITCOM v2 message, which is the out of band invitation, and you send a uh, ping to the URL that gets communicated in the in the invitation, and you get a ping response, right? And and then you have a connection, and we can based on that connection, you can basic you can do basic message, you can do other trust pings, you can propose a credential, right? You can propose a credential, and from any of these three institutions. So, for example, a passport credential from the government, you can do that, and with you will receive that verifiable credential that represents your passport, and you. You prepare a verifiable presentation and you use the present proof protocol to send it, for example, to the airport, right? And, and that is the the whole use case then. So did you or do you require um, that you receive the trust ping before receiving a basic message? Yeah, of course. You know, I mean some that there needs to be some form of, of acknowledging uh, of first a first message from from the peer to the inviter that establishes that that connection and uh, this is not very well standardized uh, in in the uh, version one of the protocols it used to be the trust ping and i just you know it's not my idea so i just inherited the trust ping but i think in 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 ditcom v2 it could be equally be a, a basic message but that's not implemented right okay. so the the playground the playground accepts uh, a trust ping message and we used to have um, a, a from prior implementation on on the playground side when it receives the trust ping it rotated its did, and in the ping response, it sent another did. But that's awkward, you know, from from the scripting perspective. If you want to script the steps, it's much easier to have like stable dits that communicate. Yeah. So that so the government has a did, the airport, the hospital, and Malati, Rayesh, and Anand, they all have like stable dits, right? And and uh, I I turned it off the. Uh, in configuration, yeah. So, so, so you don't have to worry about this uh, from prior and and changing dits. And what I suggest is is that that you do this from the client side. You do this with the CLI first, because then you see the messages, yeah. right? You see, you you can do the steps individually, and if you run the whole script, the 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 client script, then you see all the messages, right? And Thomas, you said um, RFC 95, the basic message. So, but in Digit Combi 2, we are using the basic message uh, version 2. That is just the same, but changing some headers. So, I think that's something we need to adapt to here. Yeah, I have to check again. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not there. It's, it's on the it's a protocol, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It it will be exactly these details that we would like to discover in, in the next <laughs> two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's yeah. That's why we're talking. <laughs> right. Yeah. So we we implemented that one, the basic message version two. Mm -hmm. It's really similar, but it's the only difference that it has the way that it. Envelope is in did it come be two instead of did it come be one? Yeah, all envelopes will be did come be two. Yeah. Okay, right. so probably it's gonna be the same. 
I think they don't remember maybe changed some date and but if we have we can adapt yeah so I I just posted the uh, the client side script yeah and there you see the CLI commands for the use case right and if you if you execute this script or if you copy paste individually uh, individual CLI commands you can look at the messages right that are exchanged between the client side and and the playground right so so if you're if if your client understands these didcom v2 messages or you say well this is wrong i need to see another message that needs to be fixed on my side you know i'm more than happy to do this asap right so so this is what what our success will depend on yeah that we have like tight feedback loops uh until we we successfully can run the whole use case scenario so ideally, you know, ideally next day, perhaps, right? So. Good, good. Oh, these yeah, you, you are, are right. Yeah. Sorry. I was just going to say these conversations are beautiful. Let's keep it going. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is the, the real details. Yeah, well, I, I, I hit your link for the basic message uh, and you already adapted to. to the yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. So okay. we are OK. So. I just tried, is there anything besides sending a trust ping uh, that is required before? Uh, so like I read the out of band invitation, right? And then I'm gonna send the trust ping to that, uh, to that dip here. Uh, and then like whenever I guess I do that, I get there's no connection between my dip here and arrow, like your dip here. Uh, is there like any other step that's required? Well, if if you if you communicated a URL that that the playground playground can you you should receive an error right which yeah. which the the uh, uh, problem report protocol is not yet implemented right so this is still on the list so ideally we have that for for the demo as well yeah. but but you you should you should see uh, the the server side errors. Right, and if you don't, or if it's not sufficient, uh, then you know we need to work together to to solve this. Then I will look at the server side what is happening, but but I assume that that if if the uh, trust ping is properly formatted and the URL is correct, then the the playground will respond with a with a ping response to that URL, and you should okay. see the ping response. Yeah, that's part of the problem that we don't get it because on our side, the mediator is in between. So I think the scenario would be we send a trust ping and then wait for a bit and then send a basic message and hope the basic, basic message gets displayed. That's, I'm, I think, the most easy scenario we can all get working. Well, is, is that really true? Because if, if you send a trust ping, there is some some sort of URL communicated, some endpoint URL. And the other side will respond to that endpoint URL, which will be your mediator, I suppose, right? Yeah, there must be some address yeah. that, that messages get sent to from the other side. So in this case, it, it will get sent to your mediator. And, and then the ball is at your part, court again, because, because you need to have some some way to get that message from the mediator right so so you should you should have a means to to see the ping response right and if you don't see the ping response you you can't assume that the connection is is in active state yeah the thing is here that we need this ping or the ping wrapped in a forward message again to receive on our devices uh huh. And and should should the other side create this forward message so that yes. needs to be wrapped? Okay. So so this is something I need to do then, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so that yeah, that, and that's essentially the same yeah concept that we talked about with mobile yeah with with the mobile mediated communication as well is essentially yeah. that yes all these protocol messages are being forwarded by the mediator onto um, the peer maybe, that you're trying to 
connect with. Well, well maybe we have to take this offline again because this is <laughs> conceptually I don't really get it, you know, because because the uh, the in in this case the government, you know, the government sh should not need to know whether it's talking to a backend wallet or whether it's talking to a, a, a front end wallet and it should be sufficient to have a to have a URL to send a message to, right? Or is this not? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's that? true. But the, the protocol, uh, if you need a routing to route the, the message through a, another party, in this case, the mediator, but it can be anything, you follow the rules of the protocol uh, what you do is you, you create a message to the final destination, right? Yeah. The final user. You create, yeah. you encrypt, and everything as normal. And then you put that message as an attachment, as an attachment to another message that you're gonna send to the next hop. Uh huh. And and right? that uh, and that is communicated in the. Uh, this is communicated in the did document that I get from. In this case, yeah. the. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So now I get it. So, so the government actually knows that it's talking to a mediator and it knows that it needs to wrap the message. Right. Right. Yeah. Because you, what, what you want to find is in, in when, when you resolve this deep, deep peer, yeah. you want to find that you don't have a URL actually. Instead of a yeah. URL, you're going to find it another DID. <laughs> so right. it's, okay. I, my URL now is a DID, so you, you, you say, okay, I need to send the message to that new DID. You're going to yeah. find the URL on that. And yeah. because of that, you realize that this is a, a routing way, right? You, you need okay. to put in a forward message. Putting okay. in a forward message is just putting as an attachment and encrypt to the, this new DID and yeah. send it to the URL of this new DID. Okay. Okay. And if you're using the SIGPA library, I think you also, depending on what, you also have like a flag that you can check to put that. Okay. <laughs> but the, the thing is that to understand when to, to use it. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, a, a very normal additional wrinkle uh, to, yeah, to, to run into yes this is uh and and i feel like every time we talk about it uh, I, I learn a little bit more um but anyways it, it shouldn't be that hard uh, i don't think iterate, especially that's that's uh, the whole point of the iterate right <laughs> yeah. We it with yeah so i guess that also means that like uh, you need to like send we need to send the return route to be all like whenever we send the transfings right uh in, as a custom header Rodolfo, right? Well, no, that's only if you, if you, that's for the mediator, right? Or if you want to have a, a reply on the same thread, but I think we are not using that, right? It's not mandatory to implement that. Right, right, right. So how about this? I, I show you on Discord what, uh, what the, trust ping message currently looks like yes. right so so this i currently looks like and, and that would be obviously wrong and you show me what what the trust ping message should look like with with the did instead of the url and so that that the government can recognize this scenario and do the wrapping right and then i should i show you what the wrap message looks like and then you should get the the ping response yeah, is that how it would yep. work? Okay. A question uh, to the Roots team. Do you see when a party pings you? If I see one in, in my wallet or if you yeah, see have you ever, Yeah, did you see that? No, <laughs> yeah, I, we didn't implement it that way. I think yeah. what we do is we can send a ping and we can uh, respond to a ping. So what, what I... I implement this when I receive a ping, I just replay back, right? Okay. Yeah. But uh, I don't think we put that on the on the UI. So. But in, in this case, you would need to be able to send a ping, right? And you need to be able to get some feedback from that ping. I, so specifically a ping response, because if you don't, if you if you can't see a ping response, you need to assume based on timing perhaps, 
well, by now it should have got my ping and by now I should be able to send a basic message, but you can never be sure, right? So, so the correct uh, sequence of things would be you send a ping and you expect a ping response from your mediator. And when you got the ping response, you can assume that the connection is active and then you can go on and send basic messages. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, your connection protocol. Yeah. And we, we know that other party that is a prison, Atala prison agent, implemented instead of a ping, implemented just his own version, connection protocol. But it's the same, right? It's like sending a message with whatever body and expect a replay back, right? Mm. And that's mm. the way they, they, mm. they start establishing this connection and then to start mm. another protocol after that. Mm -hmm. so, and basically, yeah. in the in the out of band invitation, you have some ID, and that's carried around through all the steps, and then you get it back and know that yeah. this exact out of band <laughs> invitation was scanned. Yeah, yeah, it's the thread ID. Yeah, and no, no, for Prism, or is it the thread oh. ID for Prism? No, no, for for no, Gitcom, it's so. yeah. the thread ID. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have four minutes left. So um, yes, if there are important wrap-up discussions we need to have. Well, I just yeah. discovered that this week is Easter. So it's holiday in Argentina too. So it's gonna be <laughs> tighter for me, but. <laughs> That's all right. Alex will just work extra, right, Alex? More for that, my. My my Easter is next week. <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Okay, multiple yeah. Easter's. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Fair my, my kids, my kids are on school holidays, and they want to do fun stuff with me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so all of this is going to be an Easter miracle if we get this all. Yeah, hunting, hunting eggs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just encouraging everyone to connect as early as possible. Uh, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to be a mediator for, uh, you know, establishing these meetings if if we have to between, uh, you know, single groups of us. Or, you know, we can do group uh, meetings as well where we just throw, you know, a link out uh, on, did, uh, on Discord. That, that anyone can join if they want. Uh, I am open to anything. I really want to see us be as successful as we can be. Uh, I think discussing mediation today was huge, so fantastic. Um, if there's something you think I can do to help us as a group come together, let me know. I will do it. Um, yeah. And... We have two minutes. So anything else? Yeah, and once we, we have, a, a, yes, like like um, agents on the cloud, we can post like out of one maybe on Discord and see if we can get a ping re response or whatever. We can also start doing that kind of stuff. Yes, please. As much as much posting activity on on Discord as possible. Is everybody in the Aries Didcom V two working group Discord? Or do we want to use the Didcom user group? I mean, both places would be fine for for us as Roots ID. You know, we're 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 at both spots. So I, I said, if uh, someone could send me an invite to that Discord, it would be great. Right. Or, I will. I will thanks. do that. So, are you on Ed? Are you on the Hyperledger uh, Foundation server at all? Yes. Okay. If you search for Aries Didcom V two, uh, Aries dash Didcom dash v2 let me see yeah i see alex is typing maybe he's about to try to add you i'm also looking to see if i can add you I... hmm. what's your user what's your username ed yeah. there's a lot of ads yeah i think yeah. it's oh that's a good question i'll type it in the chat i have to look it up <laughs> okay yeah discord's weird that way i've uh you know we've had customers that I've had to be like, can everyone give me a map of your Discord handle to your actual real name? Because <laughs> I have yeah. no idea who just said yeah. whatever. Yeah. Is this the okay. Didcom user group thing? Aries-Didcom-V2, it should say. 
Oh, so this is not the diff one. It's uh, not but, the diff. Uh, oh, the diff one's fine too, though. Uh, I, you know, I would love it if we were all in one place, but you know, it, I'm flexible on where we would prefer to post. I mean, definitely the user group is 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 a great place as well. Thoughts, uh, feelings on that? I mean, if if we're all in the did, yeah, if, if, if anyone's not in did come uh user group for the diff server okay, i guess speak so up here's the other one yes that's the one yeah 61 yeah and feel free to you know tag me if you if you want to get my attention Again, I'm just trying to make it as I, I okay. want you all to connect <laughs> as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we agree on Aries did come dash v2 user group. That, that's fine for me. Yeah. Everybody okay? Good. Which okay. one? Sorry. The Aries the did come v2. Okay. User the group. Aries. Good. Good. Yeah. The one that okay. Did. Yeah. Good. Okay. I see Ed. Great. Okay. Great meeting, everybody. Uh, well, let's hope for an Easter miracle and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I look forward to, <laughs> to interrupting and connecting with you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye.